Alrighty, we're back at it. So, I rip them all apart, right? Because now we are going to uh, finish them off and finalize him. This is the very basic uh, Tiny Titan. So he is the original auto transformer, uh, one winding clockwise and the other winding counterclockwise. They are both identical and they are a harmonic measured length of the primary, okay? So I got them all ripped right apart because I'm adding more capped on. I only have a few layers here. It was a little cheap. So I put a lot, I put like five or six, eight, eight more layers, a lot more layers on top. I'm gonna do the same to this. We're gonna put them back together. And then the other Titan that I burned up, let me grab them. Uh, the one with the, um, this guy. We're gonna take these primaries here, which are the 30 kV, 14 gauge, right? We're gonna take those primaries and put them on this one after I insulate him a little more and then we can crank him up and it's possible I might add a modified ZVS to that. I don't know. I don't think it's not really required. It depends what kind of power levels I want to run them at, right? If I wanna take them to 20 kV, which uh, I don't think this insulation will do 20 kV. I might get 15 with this and this. For 20, I think I need to pour, I've got to put that in epoxy. But uh, it, it's going to work at like 2 kV, right? <laughs> it's going to work really fucking good. But uh, another joint. But first, we will finish assembling this, mount him back with this. Then we'll go from there and see what happens. So that'll only take a few minutes. I'll have them back together and then we'd be running some tests again. I'm probably going to add the capacitor in here too because then we can work on maybe taking the source away. Currently printing, 20 hour print. <laughs> Just another three bar here to go onto a, these bricks. I'm going to do up a couple. 100 volt LTO bricks, right? I've ordered a uh, 110 volt buck converter similar design so we will see if he he will perform the same the same fine tuning increments very important for finding proper tuning uh, like best optimum performance you want to be able to turn them down like one milliamp at a time same on the volts like one hundredth of a volt at a time if you really want to get fussy and make him for best and tune them right in. So I have ordered a similar buck converter, not same style, but similar. I have to get different meters. These only do like 60, maybe, I've, I've had, I put 72 volts into them. I think about 75 they're cooked. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get a 200 volt meter and I'm gonna make a couple 100 volt bricks these bricks can have the um, same buck converter on them here. I don't know how it's going to perform in the self-running mode when I start adding two bucks uh, from the source, but we're going to find out. This is only temporary until I get more of those great big lead acids. Then I will make a 120 volt bank of those, right? Or, you know, 96 volt charge to like 105 or whatever the hell it's, you know, and then run the buck. And he will use nothing off of that. <laughs> we will have a recharge feed to go back into it so that whatever he is using to sustain his operation is being replenished. And then uh, we will have the dumper to dump into him high power. Now here's another thing. There's so many things to do with this. Here's another thing to think about. I take a 200 volt LTO battery the dumper is designed to dump at 210 volts lowest setting we have lower voltage dumpers but uh, it depends how you want to operate it but you can start dumping safely into the lto with a minor a uh, potential difference uh, not a lot of capacity because you're going to go fast 
So the capacity doesn't have to be huge. It just has to pop like the design, uh, like, like the dumper is designed. He pops it, dumping all of the capacitor's guts as quick as possible directly into the LTO from cap to LTO and start with like maybe 10 volt, 20 volt potential difference. And then you can go up and gradually. So maybe I go to like 400 volts, he's 40 volts, I make a 400 volt LTO and I pop like, I don't know, three microfarads or four microfarads real fucking fast into LTO. LTO, you run your 400 volt inverter. He just temporarily converts the popping high amperage into lower voltage, high current, temporarily, right? So that is very possible. Um, so right now, like I said, I'm printing another one. We're gonna make a 100 volt pack. We're gonna make a couple of them. And uh, we're gonna use that to fire this until I, you know, maybe next week I go get a couple more batteries and then I get up into the 100 volts uh, supply with the big lead acid. What are they, 250 amp hour or something? each so uh, then I have a nice potential that I can reduce right so I could take even small inverter 100 volt uh, DC to 110 volt AC variac reduce it and like Smith kind of sort of shit you just need that potential reduction because this will run whatever 15 volts 20 volts there the more we increase this the higher our zero watts running and watts amount that we are running on without doing anything. When we have a gain here of zero here and 30 or 40 or 50, 200 watts here and zero here because we have matched the raise of the potential voltage and then the reduction allows us this. Then we can put that to work to do whatever the fuck we want, right? Recharge the source and bump forward into the next stage. So, and this is all high voltage, does not have to be, can all be low voltage and go in reverse direction and keep increasing the amps in resonance, right? Here's where we achieve COP operation of the device, way beyond what we are putting in. It happens right here. It happens right here in the input circuit. Nobody see it, they think the magic be happened down the way. He does things down the way that add to it but the biggest gain in these systems right now and the self-running part and the multiple COPs is attained by the potential difference of what he is running on and what you are supplying him. So we scale that properly, we will be able to put a static electric charge at 20 kV on the source. And by the time he reaches 200 volts, we have 200 amps, okay? Have a great day, everyone.